what's the crack lads welcome back it's another player of the week review and we're going to be doing it quick because these players lads i genuinely just feel that they need to ramp up the excitement with player of the weeks i'm going to get into that right because i do feel that these cards for starter out player of the weeks you know you don't have to train them you don't have to give them skills because you can't you don't have to do anything with the card you can't train them wrong there's no different builds you can't do anything with the card apart from actually just play them as is and they're always on A rating. What's not to like? I mean, it should be very nice on Player of the Week. The problem is, man, is that they're just outdated versions of the cards all the time. I mean, you can't play them if they've got one weakness. You can't train them if they've got one weakness. So I do feel like that they need to do something with the Player of the Weeks, right? I'd be very interested to know if they're, you know, if people are really spinning for Player of the Weeks every week. Are you guys spinning? Let me know. But obviously, in the comments below, you guys will be able to tell me whether you spin or not every week for Player of the Week, or you spin every month or whatever, because it must be obviously valuable to them. But anyway, on to Harry Kane today, right? Harry Kane has been scoring for fun, man. And the way I'd look at it is, right, they want to give good cards, such as this Harry Kane card here, who's got 92 kicking power, he's got 93 finishing, he's got ball control, which is good as his booster and physical contact. And obviously, you'll be able to get him up to 90 and all these stats with a really good manager, um, but why not just throw the board at him, man, and just say, like, right, he's after scoring seven goals in real life in the last two games, just make his card, like, massively beastly, with only a chance of getting him, and I think that would add a little bit of hype, I still remember the hype when Kevin De Bruyne came out, the first ever booster, and I think I spun about 16 spins across four packs or five uh, accounts, and, and didn't get him, um, and, but there was a bit of hype there, so that is Harry Kane, I mean, his weakness is balance and his dribbling, he's not a running gun, um, you know, it's going to be the same issue with any kind of big center forward. You're the same. You've good physical contact with Lukaku and Kane, but bad balance, bad tight possession, good finishers if you get into the box. But I found a lot of players are not getting chances in the box like you used to before. They've kind of like congested the box area. Loads of space out the pitch, but as you go in, you get more congestion. So we also have a couple of players like, uh, you know, center backs here that don't have a booster that are just average that you could just literally just buy in the gp marketplace and because you can't train them in a different way you're kind of stuck with what they have you've got parrot as well obviously the irish man 22 years of age he doesn't really have a face in the game so that'll put off quite a lot of people tacking awareness finishing is actually going to go over 90 which is decent um similar to the evan ferguson card he's got some nice player skills as well acceleration should be a little higher man he's actually quite fast his balance lets him down his physical contact lets him down um so as a center forward it's not great uh, we also have Adu, Adoy, Hudson Adoy, who scored the other day, of course, against Liverpool. Speed, acceleration, very nice, dribbling, very nice. But again, lads, not a really great card. Yes, you've got flip flap soul control, but you don't have double touch, so you can't train double touch. So it's just an oversight on these cards, man. What's the point having flip flap and soul control if you can't have double touch? If you're going to go to full hog, you might as well go for it, man. It's like going to a buffet and just eating carbs and no protein, man. Um, you know, so it's it's kind of something that I feel like they need to change up with the player of the week. But other than that, a fairly good whole player left midfielder, even though his play style is going to be, you know, absent from playing on the left or right. Anyway, we also have Dembele. Now, we did predict Dembele would be coming, and it's a very strong card. He doesn't get the booster, though, but dribbling, tight possession, and, of course, his acceleration and speed is going to be good. Finishing not as good as I thought it would be after he scored two goals, but, again, he's got double touch, he's got soul control, and he doesn't have flip-flops. So if you wanted another version of Dembele with, with advanced uh, ball roll or, um, you know, the, like, advanced double touch, you will have to get his standard card, right? So again, it's a bit of a disappointment. David Rea, obviously one of my favorite keepers, I'd say, to use on my road to glory. Very, very solid. But again, parrying and reach and awareness are going to be the only three stats. You can't get his, his jumping up that high. Connor Gallagher as well. Fairly decent card as a box-to-box, -box, but kind of weak in terms of his overall play. Track back, fight and spirit, pretty okay. Um, gamesmanship, doesn't have interception if you want him a little bit more defensive. Has high aggression, but the stats don't always reach... The threshold of where you need him to be especially speed acceleration balance and physical contact for a box to box tio hernandez one of players favorites one of you guys favorites cards to use um over the last couple of months of the game uh with eFootball 23 and 24 i would say speed acceleration let down of course by his lack of defense and you can actually you know get this card quite decently because he's an attacking fullback you can get him quite nice because he's got interception side tackle fight and spirit um pinpoint crossing is nice true passing is nice to, to do switches he's got his tattoos in that in game as well he looks pretty decent stamina physical context acceleration and aggression he gets his booster day with hard worker it's an okay card it's definitely one of the picks of him yeah but not as good as other cards they've released of him and then of course we have the licked so i thought the licked would get a booster he does not get a booster 
Speed and acceleration let him down a little bit. Jump and physical contact. And of course, tackle and defensive awareness. All going to be over 90. I don't know where I was looking there. Um, heading is quite decent as well. Solid card without being extraordinary. And I think this free, um, or this delict is not going to be as good as the free one that they released, which is a problem. And then last but not least, we have Yamal, right? So, Lamine Yamal is definitely probably the pick of him here. Acceleration, speed, balance, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, and finishing, and low pass. All into the 80s, which is decent. I would have liked his balancing to go to 90. Then you would have had the speed, acceleration, and tight possession, dribbling, and ball control all over 90, with speed and acceleration being the, the main one for the... The wide areas, he can play right mid or right uh, wing forward, striker's instinct, he's got double touch, flip flap and soul control off the rip. It's a very decent card, lads, honestly. It's definitely one of the cards that I think people will really want to have. Um, but is it worth spinning 11 spins to get one player? I think not. And that's the problem with the player of the week, man. They have to do something. Maybe a token that you can earn, that you're able to get a free player of the week and choose which one you want. The player's stats and stuff are not even the issue with the player of the weeks. Because obviously the player of the weeks need, to, need a different... You know, they need that, right? With the live update. They're all on locked on A form, which is great. But I feel like there needs to be a bit more control over it rather than random. Because of the bills you're getting, you can do nothing with them. But that is it, lads. Just a quick video on the player of the week. I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe. And let me know in the comments below. Are you still open to player of the weeks?